Hello and welcome to Beacon Coffee. My name is Kelsey and today I'm going to show you how to use the AeroPress Go to make a delicious cup of coffee. Now the AeroPress Go results in the exact same great cup of coffee as the original AeroPress. The only difference is that somehow they have managed to make it even more compact and convenient. Now AeroPress recipes tend to fall into two camps, traditional and inverted. Today we're going with the inverted method, which means we're brewing via immersion as opposed to percolation. We're going to be using a brew ratio of 1 to 15. That means we're using 15 grams of coffee and 225 grams of brew water. In addition to our AeroPress Go, there are a couple of things we're going to need. Importantly, tasty coffee. So today we're brewing the El Potrero. It's a delicious fully washed Guatemalan. It's been specifically roasted for filter, rested for five days post roast, and then ground on a medium fine setting. In addition, we have some filtered water. Ours is sitting at 194 degrees Fahrenheit, or just off the boil. And finally, in order to measure, I'm using some scales which have an inbuilt timer. Alrighty, we can get started. So firstly, I'm grabbing two filter papers. Now using two is going to result in a really clean, smooth brew. I place them into my filter cup, and then I'm going to rinse them using some of the hot water. Now as an added bonus, you can do this into the serving vessel you're going to be using. And effectively it's preheating it, just don't forget to tip out the rinse water. Righty. Now we can assemble our AeroPress for the inverted method. To do this, it's really simple. All we do is grab our plunger and place it with the seal side up. Then we grab our brew changer, chamber and we have our wide neck up. I'm gonna pop it on there and inserting it just far enough down that you have a nice even seal all the way around. Now it's time to chuck in the coffee and place it on the scales. To start the brew, I'm going to use a bloom. Now to do this, I use 30 grams of water for 30 seconds. I tear off my scales, I start my timer, and I add in 30 grams of water. I'm giving this a gentle stir, and this is just to evenly saturate the coffee grounds. We don't want any sitting high and dry. Once we've reached 30 seconds, I begin the pour. All I do is completely top up the AeroPress with water. That's going to give me a total amount of brew water of 225 grams. 30 seconds and go. And now we wait until the timer hits two minutes. In the meantime, I can remove my AeroPress from the scales. We never, ever push down on scales. I'm also going to add on my filter cap. Now it's really important that you lock this in because if you don't, when you tip the AeroPress upside down, keeping an eye on my timer, I have one minute left. Okay, with five seconds to go, a handy tip is to press down the brew chamber just a little to hear a hiss. And that's gonna prevent a bit of mess. We've hit two minutes. I'm dumping my rinse water, popping my cup on, flipping everything upside down, and now it's time for a 30 second press down. What you're aiming for is an even, gradual, and consistent press down that takes about 30 seconds, giving us a total brew time of two minutes and 30 seconds. better than the gym. And there we have it. An absolutely delicious cup of AeroPresco. And cleaning up is as simple as removing the cap and popping the puck. <laughs> Alrighty, happy AeroPressing.